Alrighty, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another zero degree review. Today we're going over the coat that I've been promising that I forgot. Uh, I was supposed to do a whole, like, uh, my gear, my daily gear review for a 10 subs. Uh, I did the pants, or my bibs, rather, and uh, I was supposed to do the coat, and that was three weeks ago, and I'm just now getting to the coat. My cat just snuck in the room and scared the crap out of me. So, uh, well, there he is. Get, get back, get back. So this is Iron Tough. Iron Tough right there on there. Refrigerator. It's um, not bad coat. I was originally pretty irritated by it. These pockets really frustrate me with how they have this overlap. And it's like, oh, God. It's, if you got gloves on, it's like near impossible to get your hands in there without messing your sleeve up and stuff like that. Um, this, this is a little frustrating as well. I like to put my phone up here and, uh, this actually scratched my screen ever so slightly. It's like really, really hard, uh, leather, plastic leather kind of feel. I, I'm not really sure what it is. It's, I think it's mostly plastic or like a hard rubber or something. I'm not sure. Um. But other than those two things, I'm actually really, really happy with the coat. Uh, there's minor damage here. Let's see if I can get a visual on it. With my zipper, you can see that is, ooh, this is tough. You can see that's torn a little bit right there, which makes zipping up my coat pretty annoying to do. But other than that damage, there's not really much. Uh, we got some fraying, which is always going to happen. You see that? Uh, you got a little pin pocket here, which I just now noticed I had. I knew the zipper was here. I don't use it for nothing, but I actually have a little pin slots right there, two of them. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I originally was really excited for this pocket, and it's not too bad. I mean, I just have to be careful not to scratch my phone. Uh... I do get frustrated when I have to take my phone in and out, in and out, because I'm getting called and all this stuff while I'm at work, because that's part of my job. But uh, it, overall, it's not too bad. That's more nitpicky, personal uh, issues. The inside, as you can see, is holding together perfect. Not bad at all. No rips, tears. It's not too dirty. It is dirty, though. It needs to be washed. That's my fault. Uh, this up here is nice and comfortable. Doesn't cause any rubbing on the back of my neck or nothing. It's super soft fur. Like, it's really soft. Um, I have a I have a pretty decent beard. My beard doesn't get catch, caught in the zipper. That's annoying. But that's, again, more of a personal thing that will happen on all my coats. Uh, the cuffs are pretty nice. They're tight, but not too tight. Uh, they do fall down. They probably need to be a little tighter. And that probably comes down to the size of coat. They got me a little too big. This is a large, I believe. Yes, this is a large. Uh, let's see what this thing's made out of. Why don't we? That's Spanish. Okay, I can't spell it. Yeah. 100% um, nylon, 100% polyester, 100% polyester. Yeah. So... The insulation and the lining is polyester, and then you got the shell is nylon, which I believe is that. Uh, it cleans up pretty easy. It does stain easy as well, I believe. I got... Maybe not. I thought I had something on the back of this. Maybe not. Maybe those are my bibs. All right, well, uh, the zipper has this cool little string on it. It's actually pretty useful. And as you can see, the zipper is pretty smooth going up and down. It's just that fucking uh, this rip right here. That rip right there sucks. Uh, uh, it's probably an easy fix for somebody that can sew, but for me, that's a lot of needle pricks to the finger and a lot of cussing probably to get that done. Um... This one's gonna be this video is gonna be a little shorter. The cost of this one, I'm not actually certain. I couldn't find it. I'm sure I could find it if I tried harder. 
but I kind of was skimming through, and for some reason I couldn't find what I was looking for. Uh, I talked to my boss about it, and he said that he got these for about, I think he said it was like 175 to 200 bucks, which is significantly more expensive than the bibs, which you would think would be the other way around because the bibs are bigger and they have more um, material in them, but for some reason that the, these are more expensive. But these are holding up a lot better. Uh, after I did the video on my everyday bibs of the same series, Iron Tough, I, I mentioned that I'd lost a button, but I didn't have any other tears. And then within the last three weeks, and I think it was the week after I put the video up, I totally decimated the crotch out of those bibs like bad. It's just, it's unsavable. They are ripped all the way down to my knee, just about on the inside. And I wasn't, you know, doing from like crazy squats or nothing. I was just, I squatted down to pick something up and I just heard rip. I was like, oh, there it is. And it was like two more times after that, it finally just completely blew out. And now I'm left with crotchless bibs, which is like a weird form of assless chaps. Uh, I don't know why I needed to go there with that, but I did. Uh, all the buttons work really good on these, on this. The zipper, again, works decent, except for that rip, and that may have been my fault. I may have been too rough with it. I don't know how you can be too rough with a zipper, aggressively zipping up, I guess, your coat. But, yeah, so I would say these are still too pricey for me. Maybe that's just my opinion, but I think they're just too much for neat. I, I mean, I have to have it for work. I would be freezing all the time if I didn't have these or this coat or, you know, the previous coats I've had. They're just too expensive. But I'd probably rate this, hmm, compared to my last coats that I've had, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 because the fact that it's actually holding up, it doesn't have any tears in it yet i say that knock on wood i don't have any wood nearby to knock on but um i don't have any tears in it yet the zipper may have been my fault and i could probably get that sewed back on and uh the pockets are super annoying and pretty much completely useless to me but i don't really use my pockets that much anyways so i've grown accustomed to the fact that I, those pockets are completely useless um yeah, not bad. Not bad choice. I, I feel like if anybody was looking into coats, this would actually be something worth looking into. It is pricey, but, you know, it it it's pretty good for what it's worth, I think. So that was uh, my last bit of my, like, freezer gear that I have. Uh, I probably won't go, like, in the boots, my my everyday boots. I mean, I'm wearing them right now. There's nothing special about them. They are refrigerator, but they're so old and beat up now that they're pretty much done and lost. Uh, I've had these bibs for two months, three months now. I can't remember what I said in my last video. I'm probably contradicting myself. I can't remember. I've had them for a while, but... Uh, I definitely don't think it warranted having a crotch rip out and uh, the pockets are annoying. So that was uh, my everyday gear review. My everyday gear review? My everyday gear zero degree review. Sure, we'll go with that one. That one sounded good. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm going to have back-to-back -back uploads because I have a pair of gloves right there. Notice that there's only one. I have a pair of gloves that I've been wanting to do a review on. I've been working on, you know, getting the information last month or so, and I lost the other glove. So I was like, I better do the review before I lose that one. So now you're going to get double uploads. So at least a day apart. Um, so tomorrow, this is going to go up on the 21st, I think is what today is. Yes, it's going to go up on the 21st, and then the 22nd, you should get a glove review. So be looking out for that. I appreciate anybody watching, commenting, subbing. I, I definitely like it. I like to see it. I enjoy doing this. Uh, I like the schedule I have just about once a month or whenever I feel like it. So it works for me. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you learned something. I hope I swayed you to making a 
purchase that better suits your needs. Until next time, I'll see you, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.